Okay, so let's imagine that you've completed the on time in half the time course and you really like the SDBR approach. You can see how it will get results for your plant, but you're not sure how best to proceed. Maybe you're too busy to lead the initiative yourself. Maybe you could use some help to convince your boss or your team that this is a good idea, or some help to do the training properly, or maybe some advice on a particular situation in your plant that you think is a bit different or complicated. What should you do? Well, the answer is very simple. Just get in touch with me at Drayton Solutions. I have spent the last 20 years helping people like you and organisations like yours to implement SDBR or the theory of constraints in one way or another. It's my job. That's what I do. This slide gives you an idea of the kind of environments that I've worked in over the last 20 years. It's not exhaustive, but if you imagine a scale stretching from dog biscuits at one end of the scale to nuclear submarines at the other end of the scale, and imagine multiple different types of company in between, you get the picture. And don't despair if your sector is not on the list. The approach to implementing TOC is very similar across all sectors and always begins with an inquiry to understand and ensure we're on the right track with our approach. Rest assured, we would not start anything without first understanding how it will impact on the plant and get the kind of results that you want. How do we help our clients? Well, typically in manufacturing, we're using the SDBR approach you've learned about in this course. We start by teaching your people about the approach and use computer and manual simulations to educate them in the approach and why it achieves great results. Specifically, we ensure they understand how high inventories causes queues, long lead times and poor due date performance and a whole host of other problems. We then show them how choking the release of raw material and buffer management dramatically reduces inventories and transform plant performance. People are often amazed as they see before them the difference in the two approaches and how quickly work orders move in a low inventory SDBR managed environment. And we go on to explain what to do if there is a CCR and how to start and continue an effective process of ongoing improvement. And what happens next? Well, we work with the team to ensure all of the above is implemented correctly and do whatever it takes to ensure that you get the results that you need. Simple. And what if SDBR isn't appropriate for your plant? Well, we have clients just like you too. And in those environments, we use a different approach, still based on TOC, still using the five focus and steps, but a different method to achieve the same goals of reduced lead time and dramatically improved due date performance. In practical terms, there are four main ways that we engage with our clients and we often combine the approaches as needed and appropriate. It is rarely as clear cut as you see it on the slide here. Coaching, either in person or online, is one method we use. Typically, this is a one-on-one -on -one engagement between a Drayton coach and a single client, often the leader of the business or plant. This is obviously much more hands-off from our perspective, but it is appropriate for the client in certain circumstances. A more engaged way of help is for Drayton to train the team that will then go on to implement SDBR in the plant. This is a more straightforward training scenario where, as I mentioned earlier, we use computer and manual simulations to educate the team, combined with presentations and group exercises that are specifically designed to examine how and prepare for applying SDBR in your environment. The most common mode of engagement is for us to train your people and then work with your team to implement SDBR and ensure you get the results. So this is the more traditional consulting engagement where training is followed by working with the team on site to ensure everything is done correctly and you achieve results in the shortest time possible and to the greatest extent possible. Often our experience and expertise of doing this elsewhere means we can solve issues particular to your site quickly and give the right guidance to get the results. Some clients Typically when they've decided SDBR is absolutely for them and they want to ensure it becomes the standard operating method, will decide to implement software to support the SDBR method. There is a software package that we recommend and we can assist you to implement this if this is what you want. But will we get results, I hear you ask? In short, yes. We don't believe in the usual consulting approach of show me your watch and I'll tell you the time. So we're not going to turn up interview loads of people and then present back to you a bunch of ideas that came from your own people. When you work with Drayton, we are coming with an approach that has been tried and tested in hundreds of plants, if not thousands, across the world. We know it works and we know how to get results. We're going to teach you the approach and ensure you implement it properly and get results. In fact, we're so confident we will, in some cases, make a portion of our fees contingent on your results. 
That means if you don't get what you need, we don't get paid. Try asking one of the big consultancy firms to match that. So, if you like the sound of that, just get in touch on email or give me a call. I'll be more than happy to discuss and help you decide the best way forward for you and your company. Okay, thanks so much for taking part in the course. I really hope you've enjoyed it and gotten a great deal of learning from it. Watch out for more courses from the Throughput Academy. We've got plenty more great stuff in the pipeline to share with you. Also, don't forget to say hi on the LinkedIn group and don't hesitate to get in touch if you need some help.